These are mostly made from recycled materials and household items that I found around my house. I cut two spoons just before the scoop but I've left a little bit of space near the bottom so that we can attach them together later on. I've got two chopsticks, my two spoons, and then we're ready to build our boat. To start, I am going to first take a rubber band and place it around the water bottle. This is going to help us keep the chopsticks in place while we add the rest of the rubber bands. We are adding them on opposite sides of the bottle and this is where we leave some space so that we can add our propeller later on. Now that our chopsticks are being held on, we're going to grab another rubber band and put it over the chopsticks. Then what we're going to do is take the green rubber band, twist it and then tie it over to wrap it around and bring it back down. This just holds the chopstick in more securely so that it doesn't fall out. And then we do the same with the other side. We twist it and pull it over the chopstick my rubber bands are really stretchy. Now that we've got our green rubber band on, we're gonna flip our boat upside down and take another rubber band and do the same thing on the other end. We just take it, twist it, pull it over, we can see our boat forming. Our next step is to put together our propeller. A little tip I had was putting them back to back and then flipping one upside down. And that is how you can make your propeller. Next, we're gonna take a rubber band and just tie it together as tight as we can. This takes a lot of wrapping. It is all wrapped and I'm bending it to make sure that it's sturdy. And now we can attach our propeller to our boat. Adding the rubber band on first helps me picture where I would like the propeller to sit. And if I need more room, I'm going to carefully and gently shift the chopsticks backwards to give the propeller more space. And I'm adjusting the rubber bands as I'm pushing to make sure everything stays in place. Then I'm just going to take the first rubber band that we added and just wrap it around once more to make it more secure. Next, I'm just trying to measure out where the propeller is going to sit. So if we want our boat to be pushed forward, then the propeller needs to scoop the water backwards. I'm rotating my spoons to see which way I need to add on my propeller. If I want the water to be scooped backwards, the first spoon going in between the rubber band is going to be upside down. And now I need to figure out which way I need to twist it. So we are twisting it the opposite way so that when it releases, it pushes the water backwards and pushes your boat forward. And now it's time to wind it back up and then we can go test it out.
Don't forget to add your lid back onto your boat or your boat will sink. I decided to test out my boat first in the bathtub and look at it go. Now I'm going to go test it outside. Right, I'm putting my boat in the water. Ready? Look at it go. Oh, it's, oh, 